Button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo 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 skips graphics we are making a building with another GTA 5 bot tutorial for you and today we are going to be doing an updated video for creating your own server and today we are going to be using the Nickus um, server creator all right shout out to the creators of uh, Nickus and I am on their website right here but before we jump into this let's jump into the requirements that you are going to need in order to create your own server first up we are going to need X app this link will be linked down in the description when you get down to this page right here what you want to do is click the download button and follow the instructions we are not going to be installing this although there are plenty of tutorials on youtube showing you how to install xamp for um, your pc all right and the next one we are going to need is heidi sql all right this one right here also is a requirement for your servers to run with a database so when you get down to this page you want to click on this right here where it says installer 32 64 bit combined all right you want to select that to download and follow instructions as well we will not be installing this so you will need to look for a tutorial if you are having any troubles installing this right here okay so the next one up we will need is last but not least 5m okay we will not be able to jump onto our server without having 5m installed and not only having 5m but you will need to have a account with 5m um, it's all free just sign up um, with a free account with 5m you can just click right here on the form page and that'll lead you to right here and on this page right here i'm already signed in but there will be um, a space up here to say log in or sign in all right so go ahead and uh, select uh, sign in or log in so you can create a new account but make sure you have account with 5m and also there will be a link down in the description i will provide that will lead you to the key master page also because you will need to create a new key that you can put inside your server cfg for your server all right so now that we got all the requirements and everything out the way let's go ahead and go back to nikius website right here this is nikius website first one is the server creator when you click on that one it's going to lead you to this page right here this page right here is um the page that we need in order to download the server creator all right so you'll see this download button go ahead and click that button right there in order to download and install the server creator all right they also offer hosting so you can just click on this link right here this link will lead you to this page right here where it's uh, um another uh page from the same website but it's uh speaking upon what they offer for their hosting okay so if you click right here where it says view games it's going to scroll you all the way down right here and it will give you three games with um different prices for those games that they offer for hosting okay so they have a uh, my minecraft hosting for $2.99 a month then they have gta 5 hosting for $6.99 a month and then they have counter-strike hosting for $8.99 a month all right and they also show you what they have to offer right here as well all right so just in case you're looking for a hoster for your server they off they offer hosting as well all right so let's go back up here and they also offer some other games as well if you check down here with view all games and there you go and red dead redemptions up there as you can see gary's mod all right all right so once you have all of your uh, requirements installed and uh, downloaded or downloaded and installed and you have your server creator downloaded as well and installed Right here on my left hand side i have my server creator opened uh, from this point you should have yours already opened up once you install it you're going to have to create an account because um, you're not going to have one so create a new account and then you'll be able to sign in once you sign in you'll have it open just like i have right here on the left hand side and on my right hand side i have um, just one of my drives open um, any drive on your computer i'm just going to start with my drive right here in this drive what i want to do is start off by creating a folder you don't have to uh you don't have to create a folder necessarily but um i'm going to create a folder to keep my server in my new server that we we are going to create i'm gonna keep it in this folder that i'm going to create and i'm going to name it server all right i'm going to name it right here server 
All right, so I have my server down here. Hold on, let me um, reload this right here, refresh. And you can see the server folder I just created right here. If you open it up, there's nothing inside of it, all right? So now that that folder has been created, let's go over here to our server creator and let's select create server. Select create server. Then it's going to ask us what game do we want to select to create a server with. We're going to select 5M because we want to make a server for GTA 5. So let's select that, scroll down. Then it's going to have the configuration part and it's going to have the server path location. Let's go ahead and select the magnifying glass. And that's going to open up this box where we can find our location where we want to install our server. I'm going to install it on my H drive inside of my server folder. After you have chosen where you want to install your server, go ahead and press OK. And you will see the path right here. Now, the next one down is the server name. Go ahead and name your server anything you want to. I'm going to name it Tutorial. All right. Once you name your server, you want to come over here and press install. Once you press install, you just want to be uh, patient. This could take about three or four minutes as it states right here. Then you will have a notification on your desktop letting you know your server has been successfully created. All right. Now, if you look right here, I have a new server that I just created and it's called tutorial. All right. So once you see your new server created right here, go ahead and select it. Once you select your um, server, you're going to be on this um, page right here. And the first option is going to be your console. This is where you run your server at. The second one is your config. This is where you are going to need your uh, your license key that you got from the key master. That link down in the description I gave you earlier. You're going to need to paste your license key right here inside the 5M license. And you also have a place right here for your Steam, your Steam Web API key if uh, you're using that to sign into your server or whatnot. You have your server port, your max players, um, your server host name, and your server description, as well as TX admin system. You can enable that if you want and one sync as well but uh one sync is only if you have uh your patreon if you're a patreon of 5m okay and you could also change your server logo right here as well in the config six in the configuration section the next one over is the file manager let's select file manager file manager is where you will be able to find your server cfg go ahead and select that as you can see it's already been um it's already been uh, set up by default with uh, everything that you need. So you really don't need to put anything in here unless you want to um, change a few things. Like, for example, if you want to use uh, some menus that use script hook V, then you want to go ahead and change script hook allowed from zero to one. OK, so uh, if you want to make some minor changes like that, you can. But everything is already set up for you to go and um, you're all set so let's go over to database in database you will need your exam and your Heidi on all right so what you want to do is run your exam you want to run this panel first this exam control panel and then you want to run the Apache and then run my SQL you can open up uh, Heidi SQL this is one you would open up next go in this area right here and there's a button right here that's going to say new you want to select new and then create a new folder and name it 5m okay you want to name it 5m just like how the 5m is where it's 5m with the capital m all right capital f and the capital m now let's select database now as you can see when you select database now you actually can see what is in the database all right so uh, we're not going to mess with anything um, right here. But if you need a new database, you could also create a new database as well. Now, if you go over to the next option will be users. Users, that's only if you have users or um, other people that you deemed administrators to your server that could also uh, go in the server and edit things or do whatever. You could also add them here, okay? And then the next one it will be settings. Settings, you have a uh, port forwarding. 
You also have um, support on uh, the Discord from the creator to help you out with that as well. Tutorials, tunnels, things of that type of nature. And you also have move server. Just in case you want to move your server from, um, say, like one drive to another or just anywhere on your computer. You can simply move it from this area right here in the settings. Uh, the next one down is backup server. You can back up your server. Makes a hard copy of your server just in case anything happens. And you can rename your server right here as well as delete your server all right be careful with this because once it is deleted it is gone all right then we also have premium features okay premium features is only for the premium people okay that right here is, is explained right here on this page right here where we download our server creator if you scroll all the way down you will see that they have a perfect package for you the first one is the premium lifetime plan that comes with the essential premium features you get to install scripts on your server automatically exclusive esx panel and easy installation for 5m server sharing with your developers and it's permanent and it's a one-time fee of 11.99 okay so that one right there or you could just have the free plan which is the essential features all right so when you get the premium lifetime plan you will have access to the premium features okay and with this one you can either go here to install some scripts just um, from this um, outlet right here or you could um, transform your server into a fully roleplay server with the ESX. You could do the same thing with QB Core over here as well. And you also have the drag and drop script, which is very, very useful. If you click on this right here, they have this open right here. You can just drag and drop the script and it will automatically add it into your server.cfg. Then you also have the add on vehicles. This is a neat feature also that I like and I use. This one is a feature where you can add, you can um, add in an add on car or a replace car. Okay. All you need is the necessary files, drag and drop. And then this does the rest. It adds the name and everything to uh, the server.cfg. All right. And you also have a tutorial and you have a script installer here. If you click on this, I have a script installer. You could either um, install the script the other way or you could uh, go to uh, GitHub. If you're installing something from GitHub, you could just simply just press that URL from GitHub's uh, page and then paste it in right here and click install script and it'll go ahead and install it directly from the website all right it's a pretty neat feature also that i use too and you also have a discord bot all right so there's other little to tons of uh, things that um comes with the premium features and everything and uh man personally i like all of them and i pretty much use all of these right here so now that we have went over those at the last one, if you need tutorials, you want to select tutorials and this will lead you directly to the creator's YouTube channel, okay, where they have tutorials for you to help and show you everything in more detail, all right? File manager. Let's go down to file manager and let's select the server.cfg. Now, if we look right here where it says V menu, it says um, it has a hashtag right before V right before ensure v menu what we want to do is just delete that um hashtag right there okay and then down below it where it says ensure easy admin we want to delete that one as well okay just delete the hashtag before it okay once you do that we're all good to go let's go ahead and press save content then we can go back over here to console and select start then that's going to run our server for us And while that is running, if you want to know where your server is, or if you can't remember where your server is, you could always go to file manager and then select open folder. When you open folder, it's going to pop up where your server is located at, okay? All right, once you spawn in your server, you should be all good from here. As you can see, we are inside here. Um, this is like the bare minimum. So um, only thing you have right now is your menu. And you can just press uh, the select key on your controller or M on the keyboard. All right. Press M on the keyboard. That will open up the V menu. All right. That's like pretty much the only thing that this uh, comes with um, by default. If you want other scripts, you got to install those as well as cars and things of that type of nature. I suggest going for that premium plan right there. And also, if you want some hosting, they have that for you as well. All right. 
So we're going to go ahead and uh, put a cap on this tutorial right here. But if this helped y'all out to win, to uh, actually create your own server within a matter of 10 minutes or so, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. E and share the video with y'all friends that are in a modding GTA 5. Y'all's games graphics. Me and my character are out of here until next time. Yep, yep, yep. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.